something incredible happened 13.8 billion years ago. Big Bang Theory tells us that the universe started with a massively dense and infinitely tiny singularity. After the Big Bang, it begins with a soup of elementary particles, then the first atom, to the molecules, to the earlier stars and black holes, till the present galaxies. It is still expanding in the space-time continuously. Among these billions of galaxies, the Milky Way is our whole galaxy which consists of more than 100 billion stars. Our solar system is one among them. It was a fortunate circumstance for life on Earth to evolve in a habitable zone of solar system. One fine day on this Earth, among the cloudy sky, the sun was setting in the west. With a glass of wine in the hand, a monkey king was enjoying his evening. There was a beautiful diamond on the top of his golden crown. The bonfire outside his house indicated that the climate was not so warm. The lotus in the muddy pond was glowing into the light of fire. As the time passed, the cloud didn't show any mercy on the monkey king. The fire got put out when it started raining. The saddened king went back to the bed immediately. Everything I say till now matters. Because to this point, everything from the universe to the glass of wine has been called matter. So what is matter exactly? We were taught in school that matter is anything that has mass and occupies space. Let us understand this with an example. Imagine that box A contains a cricket ball. Within the box, the ball occupies some space. We take another box B and fill it with 10 cricket balls. The box almost fills. We can understand that every ball occupies some space available inside the box. Lift both the boxes one at a time. Box A weighs way lighter than the box B. We can say that the ball has some mass and mass increases as the number of balls increase. Congrats, we concluded that the ball has both mass and volume, so it is a matter. The universe itself is like a box with unknown dimensions and shape. The emptiness of box A could be compared to the emptiness of space-time. All the celestial objects and the things we saw earlier are made up of matter. Right from the earlier elementary particles of the Big Bang, the galaxies, the bodies of solar system like Sun, Earth and any other planets, the clouds, air, water and the house are made up of matter. Even the living things like the monkey king and the lotus plant are matter. Each of these objects has certain mass and occupy a specific volume in this universe space-time. A cricket ball's mass and the volume are utterly insignificant when compared to the mass and volume of sun. Despite the drastic difference between the mass and volume, both the sun and the cricket ball are called matter. Surprisingly, all forms of matter observed in this universe occupy less than the 5% of universe's space. Now the question arrives, what is a matter made up of? Let me bring back the monkey king's house. If I ask you, what could be a house made up of? The common answer will be brick, concrete, steel, water and wood. These are the fundamental building blocks of any house. In the same way, there should be some building blocks of matter. Water is a simple example of matter that has certain mass and volume. Take a drop of water which is around one fourth of an inch and zoom it under a microscope for 2000 times. It is still smooth water spread across 40 feet. We may spot certain wiggling particles here and there but these are paramecia or some kind of microbial things belonging to biology. Let us magnify this 2000 times more. There is now a 15 mile spread of water which no longer looks smooth. It looks more like a crowd at a football ground from a long distance. Let us magnify this for only 250 times more. This is the view of water magnified a billion times. There are two kinds of blobs to represent the atoms of oxygen and hydrogen elements. Each oxygen atom has two hydrogen atoms, tied to it 104.45 degrees apart. These particles are dynamic rather than the static and are continuously jiggling and bouncing, turning and twisting around one another. The group of these three atoms are called a water molecule and it is the smallest portion of water. Any slight changes in this combination result in a different material. These atoms are 1 to 2 angstroms in radius. Another way to remember this size is, if an apple is magnified to the size of the earth, then the atoms in the apple are approximately the size of the original apple. This is the situation with every matter. All the matter is made up of specific molecules. Think of anything around you and question if it is matter or not. If the thing has mass and volume, it is indeed matter. You are awesome. You made it to the end. If you are a curious person, be sure to subscribe to the mechanics window. Please express yourself by clicking the like, dislike and share buttons. See you in the comment section.